So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a great looking YouTube thumbnail. This completely free tutorial is going to show you exactly how to make a thumbnail like this, this, or this. And yeah, basically we'll be using two different programs, Luminar AI, as well as Canva. And yeah, when you use these platforms together, it allows you to create a really good looking thumbnail that stands out from others. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna to want to do is of course, capture your image of yourself. There's different ways you guys can do this, but what we like to do is we either like to take photos like this, or we like to actually just take a 4K video of myself doing a bunch of different poses and then taking a bunch of screenshots. So let's say we want to use this one. Okay, so this is actually from a screenshot from a video I took. What I'm gonna do is I'll choose out of this. I'll right click here and I'm going to click download. That way we're gonna have this file and all these are in a Google Drive folder that I have created called thumbnail pictures. After that, what I'm going to do is open up Luminar AI. The link to Luminar is also going to be down below. And I do believe they have a free trial and it is well, well worth it as you guys are going to see very shortly. So what I'm going to do is click on this plus button right here, add image, and I'm going to select that image that we just downloaded. Now we're going to go to edit right here. And what we're going to do is go to enhance. We'll click this will also go to lights. And if you guys want to change up the temperature or tint, you guys can do that as well. I'm going to add in a little bit of yellow. We can also add in some exposure, some smart contrast, and then we can also play around with the highlights if we want. After that, we'll come here to structure AI. We're going to add some of this right here. You can also boost it as well. So this is the before and after so far. You can see it looks a lot, lot better. After that, we're going to come here to color. You guys can change up the saturation if you want or vibrance. This is really going to depend on what what picture you are starting with. Since I shoot my photos a little bit more flat, I'll probably have to add in a bit more saturation as well as vibrance. And then you can also remove the color cast if there is one. After that, I'm gonna come here to denoise. We'll add in a little bit of that. And then we're gonna come down here to the portrait section. This is where you're gonna see a lot of change. It's very cool, very subtle, but also very big difference. So we don't really care about portrait bokeh because we're gonna cut ourselves out of this photo anyways, but we'll come here to face AI. We're going to definitely add in a bunch of face light. So you can see how that adds in a bunch of light. You can also slim your face if you want. It's going to slim it down just a little bit. So let's apply a little bit of that. Here you can change your eyes, so which is pretty cool. And with thumbnails, your eyes are actually very, very important. So it's really cool that we can change this up a little bit. Iris visibility, let's pump that up. You can enlarge your eyes a little bit just to make it seem like you have a little bit more energy. It's probably a bit too much. So I'll do like maybe 10, 11. We're going to do some eye whitening. We're going to click on the eye enhancer. We can remove any dark circles and we can also improve your eyebrows. For the mouth section, we can actually increase the teeth whitening if your teeth are showing. And then you can also increase the saturation on your lips as well. Now I'll come here to skin. We'll bump these up a little bit and shine removal as well. And yeah, that does a lot of cool things to your face that other people can't do and just makes your picture stand out that much more. So let's look at the before and after. You guys can see quite a big difference. And now we're going to click export and save to disk. And and we'll save that. So after that, we're going to come here to Canva. And what I'm going to do is go to create a design. Let's do custom size. And I like to do 1920 by 1080. Although a standard YouTube thumbnail is going to be 1024 by 720 pixels. I just like to do it a little bit more high res, just in case I want to use the thumbnail somewhere else. So we'll create new design. And what we're going to do is come here to uploads. And we're going to upload that picture we just created. That's going to upload. We're going to drag it here. We're going to click edit image and then click back background remover. That's going to remove the background. It normally does a pretty good job. And what I like to do is make myself bigger. This is very important. You don't want yourself too small. In fact, you want to make it as big as possible just so that it stands out on the homepage. So let's say we want it like this. Okay. Next up, what you're going to do is come here to background. And with Canva, they have a ton of different gradients and different patterns and things that you can put in the background. For example, if I want to put this here, I can do that. But I tend to like to put, you know, gradients and textures and stuff like that. So let's click on gradients and look at some of those. Let's say I want to use something like this, right? So I'm gonna click on that. It's going to add that in. One thing that I can do is come here to my thumbnail picture. We can click edit image. We can also add in brightness, contrast, or saturation, or remove it as well here. If you wanna put a shadow or anything like that, we can do something like this. Let's add that in. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back here. We're gonna to go to text. And of course you probably want some 
type of text in your thumbnail. We can choose any of these fonts if we want. We definitely want something that is really easy to read, but still bold at the same time. So let's say we want to use this one, right? So I'm gonna click that, drop that in here. We'll delete this. And for this one, we can actually drag that here. Let's say we want to change the text let's see tutorial what we can do is go to effects right here you can add a curve if you want you can add neon thing if you want i'm just gonna leave it as none or maybe shadow you can also do lift i actually like doing that one so let's do that also something you can play with is the spacing so we'll come here to spacing right here letter spacing we can actually get those letters a little bit closer so let's say we want it like this cool so now let's drag this right here let's drag me a little bit more to the right and then bam, now you have tutorial and we also have me here as well as a background. Now here you can put anything else you want. Let's say we want to add in some elements, right? We can come here. There's a bunch of stuff you guys can do. Let's say you want to add like a graph or something like that. We can search that up. Let's say we want to put this pie chart. We can drag that in right here. Pretty good. And yeah, that's a very basic thumbnail that I was able to create in just a few minutes. And from there on, you'll click share, download, PNG. We can change the size if we want and then click download right here. After that, you'll have your thumbnail right here like this and you'll be able to just upload it to YouTube. So yeah, that's basically how you make a great looking YouTube thumbnail with yourself in it. As you guys can see, we use Luminar AI to really enhance that screenshot, that picture of myself. And then we took that and brought it over into Canva where we finished the thumbnail. Overall, super, super easy. And yeah, the links to all the resources we use are going to be down in the description below. Anyways, if you guys found the video helpful, make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe for more content just like this. This whole channel is dedicated at giving you guys free guides and tutorials, helping you to start up your business. Thank you for your time and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah.